you're me. You're someone who likes to hang out on your couch when you're not at your computer. Spurg out and play your Nintendo 3DS. Now, I've had a lot of customization to my 3DS in recent times. You know, I have a little aftermarket. You get a little PSP 1000 uh, nub and replace the shitty rubber one that comes with the new 3DS. I highly recommend it if you play any kind of um, game that requires aiming. Like if you're playing like a Metal Gear Solid 3 or the like. Something to that effect. But something you might want, if you're like me, and you have large hands, is a way to comfortably hold your Nintendo 3DS. Because doing this, you know, with two hands for a long period of time, as you can see I have reasonably large hands, it starts to hurt after a while. So being the uh, kind of person I am, I looked into some aftermarket grips for the Nintendo 3DS to make things a little more comfortable. This horribly ugly monstrosity is the Dream Gear Nintendo 3DS grip for the new Nintendo 3DS. Or as I like to refer to it, the Man Ray, because it looks like Man Ray from Spongebob. This thing, I thought it was cool for probably the first week that I had it. You know, because you have a nice grip and you have a big goofy ass hand like me. You know, it kind of fits, and it's okay. It comes with these little triggers here, and that's kind of nice. They're, like, kind of rubbery, and it's like a weird, um, it's not hard rubber. It's it's very, uh, you know, malleable, I guess could be the word. Um, I hate this thing, and I'm going to show you why. If you've spent any amount of time playing a Nintendo 3DS when you're just kind of hanging out, or if you have big hands, why you don't want this. It's something actually very simple. Well, first of all, you look like an idiot. You're walking around with what looks like, you know, a child's toy. I mean, the 3DS is a child's toy, and if you're above the age of probably 16 years old, you can just consider yourself a man-child for having one. Uh, but I've never shied away from that. On the side of this Dream Gear is this seam right here. And this isn't dirty. This is just poor craftsmanship. But this seam, if you rest this thing on your hands for a long period of time this seam is going to dig into your hands and actually made my hands start to hurt and I've done manual labor for a good part of my life so I'm used to having you know kind of rougher hands this thing hurts you as you're resting its weight of the 3DS on it and um, it makes the 3DS a lot heavier I don't know why the camera's on let's just go ahead and just not do that um, this thing makes the 3DS a lot heavier, and you're resting this weight on the corner here on that seam right on your palms. So after a good couple weeks with this thing, I didn't I didn't actually keep this on top because let's just let's just take it off because this looks fucking stupid. It's just a bad product in terms of uh, of my personal experience. You know the lights kind of shine through. There's no place that covers up the the insert for your cartridges, so you'd have to take like an exacto knife and cut it open and um, basically make a hole. But um, I don't recommend this at all. I'll show you what I do recommend. So again, if you're like me, you probably have like some kind of skin on your 3DS. You know, I like Monster Hunter, so I have a Monster Hunter skin on my 3DS. Now I don't have this covering that up. I bought the clear 3DS case. You just get them on Amazon for like $9, something to that effect. You just use the top. And then for the grip, you buy this thing. Now this is, if you if you look up 3DS grips for the new 3DS on Amazon, this is the first product that's gonna show up. I actually don't know the name of it because it's in Japanese and I don't read Moon Runes. So I couldn't even really tell you what it's called. It does have a, a name, but I bought it a couple months ago. This thing, is great if you have big hands and it's very comfortable it's hard plastic it feels kind of like if you have a switch it kind of feels like the uh, the controller that the little nunchucks for the switch slide into or almost feels like um, like maybe an Xbox 360 controller in terms of how it uh, you know the, the ergonomic design of it like the curvature of the product itself I uh, have this nice little grip here um, so when you're playing a game uh, that uses you know the shoulder buttons you kind of hold it like this 
uh, but it gives you a little extra grip because you have uh, you know a middle finger area to hold it, and then you also have this groove here to rest the, uh, the rest of your fingers on in your palm, and uh, it's great for you know a full size hand like like mine. Um, but then if you're just kind of chilling out, you could rest uh, rest it a little lower for the games like uh, if you're playing on Virtual Console or something. You just kind of rest down here, and this also feels very comfortable. Uh, it, the 3DS is also lighter than it is with the Man Ray. Um, I think it's aesthetically more pleasing, and um, it looks a little uh, a little more high end. It feels a little more high end. It costs about twenty dollars, so it's more expensive than the Man Ray, but uh, I think it's a better product. It does kind of lean back like this uh, if you let it, and you can uh, you know rest it when it's like uh, when your 3DS is closed up. It'll stay, but. You know, if you want, if you want to like rest it, it's gonna fall back like that, which is kind of silly. But I mean, who, who, you know, honestly, who's gonna care about that? And then in the back, you have this nice little, um, little container. You know, I got some, uh, I got a couple of games in there. You know, the Zelda classics. They say that you can technically do this, leave that up, and then it'll stay up like a stand over here. So that's kind of nice. I mean, I, I know I've read about some games like. Uh, Kid Icarus or something, where you play with like the, uh, the you know the stylus or whatever. But you know, if you're playing a 3DS with a stylus, in my opinion, you're doing it wrong. So yeah, I basically just made this video because uh, I fucking hate this thing. I don't recommend it. I think that it'd be a complete waste of money. Um, I would give it to somebody if uh, if you know anyone else I knew had a Nintendo 3DS XL. Um, but I just think it's a fucking piece of shit and. Uh, Go with, go with this thing. This thing's way cooler. You can find it on Amazon pretty uh, pretty easily. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say about that shitty little 3DS video. Okay, bye.